Hey y'all, um, I'm coming to you because a couple of people have wanted to know about how to make my spicy zucchini dip and this is a little concoction that I like to make all the time and I'll change it around some depending on what I have in the refrigerator or what I have handy but right now I have these things so here goes. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to have our Vitamix ready to go. We're going to have, um, first, when you put your items in your Vitamix to blend something, you always want to put your more, more moist items in the bottom of the Vitamix. That way, it turns quicker and it pulls things down. Okay, so that's what you want to do. So the first thing we have, I want to say this is about, I don't know, an eighth of a cup of lemon juice and it is a one and a half teaspoons of Spicy Mrs. Dash, which if you go to the store and you don't normally buy that, it looks like this. The, oh, this is actually Southwest Chipotle. I'm sorry. That's what it looks like. So you're going to use one and a half teaspoons of that. Now, I like to kick up the heat, so I put a lot in there. So you might want to put a little less and add more if you want. So we're going to pour that in there, okay? Then I had um, a couple of these little... They're really these little small peppers I buy in the pack from Walmart. So I'm going to put one orange, one yellow, and one red, and there it goes in. Okay, then I'm going to put about one and a half carrots, and it was pretty medium-sized carrots, so that's going to go in. Okay, then I happen to have some green onions on hand, so I'm going to say this is about two green onions, two long green onions, and I even used the white part. I even used the little roots. It's... You don't taste that when you put it in. It just gives it a little extra kick. Okay, I had a little cauliflower in there. This is going to give it a little creamier texture. I'm just going to put about a handful of cauliflower. This is how I measure things. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to put uh, two large stalks of celery in there. There it goes. And then I'm going to put... This was really one large zucchini. So you're going to put that in there. I've already chopped all this stuff up. Just You really don't have to, but just to save a few minutes when I'm in for y'all. So we're going to put that all in there. Now I'm going to, it's about this full, and um, I have my distilled water, which I always buy in big gallon size distilled water. And I'm going to just pour a little bit, I don't know, let's just say half a cup. And we'll see how that goes. Okay, so let's put it on about a mix. This is good because you can um, make it as creamy or as chunky as you want. Also, if you leave it on the Vitamix for about five minutes, it's going to be hot. So if you want a hot dip, you can do that too. So let me blend this up just a second. pour this out I'm gonna see how it tastes so do a little taste test because when I tell you a recipe I'm always sort of thinking well do they like it spicy as me do they like it a little sweeter if you want it a little sweeter put um another carrot in there oh it smells good let's we'll see how it tastes mmm spicy see that's just right to me okay this is what it looks like very creamy now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this into my bowl and I'm going to show you what I'm going to serve it with. But I mean, this raw food, eating this way is not expensive. I, I make it to where it fits my budget. Some months I can't hardly pay for my cable and the teenagers want cable. You know what I'm saying? So I cut back on the food. I, I buy what I can. I buy what's in season. And I just don't stress about it. I, I buy what I can afford that week. I always meet my calories and I always meet my nutrition requirements. I've never been healthier. My skin's never looked better. I've never been slimmer. I've never been happier, I've had more energy. My hair's never looked better. So that's just proof for you right there. So what I have is I already have laid out on this big platter, which this is a serving size for Tanya. So I'm going to put this on there. I have, I just did these in the little um, mandolin slicers. So we'll see how nice that makes. Okay. And then I have some celery. I have the romaine is really good dipped in this, okay? And then I, this cauliflower is my favorite. I just think it's so tasty and crunchy. It looks cute with this. See, it's like dipped on top of it. But before I do that, I'm going to put one more thing on the top of this. And 
This is your seaweed. It's your winter harvest roast. I showed this the other day and it comes in these. And what I did, I have a whole pile laid over here on the counter. And what I did was I cut it up with scissors. So it's about just little cubes, you know. And then I'm going to just tuck it down into the dip. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. And that way, when I take my celery, it's almost like a little sushi roll, but without such the pain. You know, I mean, I don't mind making that, but sometimes I just want to eat right then. See there? It's just right in there. It's everything you need, really. So, I mean, this is great for a party. You can have people over. People, people don't know. They, they just say, oh, that's good. You don't have to say, oh, you know, I'm a low-fat raw vegan, and this is what you need to do. No, just serve the stuff. And then they'll say, you know, that was really good. What was that? People will start to ask. So, you know, a lot of people ask me on, on Instagram, and they ask me on YouTube, like, what helped me stay on this lifestyle at first? Well, what helped me stay on is I was at death's door. And when I went vegan, I started to get a little bit better. And I told this on another video, so I won't go into it again. I had a lot of autoimmune disorders. I had lupus, IBS, arthritis nodular acne. I, I was a mess. I couldn't get out of the bed most of the days and I, I almost lost my job. So um, when I went vegan, I started to, to see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, but not until I went raw vegan and really not until I went low fat raw vegan did I heal myself of those things. And that is enough to keep you on the plan because I want to feel good. I want to live. I mean, my favorite day is this day. Every day is going to be my favorite day. Um, you know, I've lived a very strained life for 20 years under extreme repression, which I have just been released from, and I will not waste one day or one minute of my life. So, you know, people say, what do you do when people hate on your lifestyle and people, well, you know what, haters are going to hate. And I had someone hating on me today. What's interesting is the people that are closest to you and that should love you the most will be your biggest haters sometimes. And it's nothing but fear-based hate because it's it's fear because they see the change in your life. And people, they don't want to change their self and they're, they're in fear that they might have to change something about their life. I'm not trying to change anyone. If people want my help, I love to give. And if not, live your life. So... Haters are going to hate, so let your haters be your motivators, you know? So, there you have it. It's the spicy zucchini dip. You can name it whatever you want to, but that's how I do it. So, I'll see y'all later. Bye.